bring to you today is a fresh twist in the Kerala nun rape case. Key witness and close confidant of the nun who, has, who was allegedly raped by Franco Mulakal is being intimidated by the accused. Sister Lissy spoke with Mirana in an exclusive interview and she says she's being tortured by the convent from the very day she agreed to be a witness in this case. She goes on further to say that the nuns in the convent target her and she's being denied money for medicines. And as a diabetic, she needs her daily medication. Take a look. Mori wordu tu enna watta waaku keeta. Yedidi wangicha anno mudal thodangiya. Nirandra maaya oru oru kadumbidam oru kadungai je yinnu tu bolle enno oru pravarti gyanu je da. Madathilalla sisters enno oru minda nilla. Pranchalam me kedira yendo che idu enna ana oru parai yinnu da. Randa amda avare eni ke eni ke vettanna yee program ella nirthgaiy mingane butthu mutanda kuen je ida pol eni ke unda wireala ko unda ay talagar ko unda ay viinu. Apol angala maar ashutril vech eni ke marinu wangicha zannu. Healthy Sister Jean ini gua dah pelik ya, tu nuh alia wajah dulu. Satan itu dua repoga, ibu dah nuh satan itu dua repoga. En nombor ni orang kata prarti gunu. En tu muri itu bawa dekat mana, bishwas pramana jeli prarti gunu. Ini dah lama ganda, ini kita pani gudi. Pita dosen dia bela pelik poh ilah. En nomb pani orang kata mana, bila bayar tu mana pelik poh. Agar diri kita orang kita beri putih itu poh gunu dana. Niam pelik poh ilah, en tu ganda pol. Ibu ni lah, abah orang kata prarti jauh itu sister abdi iri ni tu. En tu muri itu bawa dekat mana orang kata biru itu prarti jauh ni tu. Pani orang itu ada. Agar tu kita kan ni alam deh, wajah kalau mana orang keperhati kita mana jadi ni. Joining me right now to discuss that story, Shiba Kurian, Deputy News Editor of News Minute. News Minute's been very active in tracking this particular story. Shiba, thank you for joining us and good evening. If you could, uh, and, and the thing that I know has that concerned our audience a great deal is the fact that this uh, this nun doesn't have access to medication. Sister Lissy said that she's being targeted and when she asked for help in terms of uh, a medical assistance, she wasn't given the medical assistance. Could you take us through what her ailments are and what kind of help she needs right now? Uh, Sophie, uh, it's, it's unfair. It's absolutely unfair that one is being ostracized and uh, threatened for supporting another person who is fighting for justice. And uh, uh, and, and uh, the, in this case, like the other five nuns who have, who continue to remain in fear for forcing Fra Franco's arrest. Sister Lissy too has become a victim of the threats from, uh, from Franco Mullikal's side. So uh, let, let, me, let me give the viewers uh, a, a background. Uh, Sister Lissy Vadakel uh, met the survivor nun, in 2015 at, at the Kurvilangad uh, convent. And it, in, in, in one of the interviews, Sister Lissy said that she believed the survivor nun, her, her account of, of how the, how the number of times she was subjected to sexual assault by Franco Mulikal. And that prompted her to file, uh, give a statement against the bishop to the police. As a result of giving, of giving the statement, what she has undergone is, uh, or she still con she continues to undergo, is that one she was given a, a, a transfer order to, uh, to to Vijayawada. She is she is from Kerala. She wanted to stay back in in the Kerala convent and also be with her her ailing mother. But she was given a transfer order to Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh. And uh, and the second thing is that she was brainwashed. When, when, the, when the superiors learned that she had given the police statement, she was asked to withdraw her statement. And, and, and they tried to brainwash her, saying, what will happen to the believers if, if a bishop is, uh, has been accused? And also, she, and as, she, as the Sister Lissy just said now, she has been ostracized uh, by, by her, her own people, the, the parishioners, uh, the priests, and the people whom, with whom she was, uh, she was close. Uh, at, at at the convent, and, uh, uh, and and the current issue that she's she's right now facing is that she is being threatened to be uh, to be uh, uh, she, uh, the authorities are asking her to leave the convent and and go back home 
when sister lissy said that no she will not go back she's been she's been wearing the habit for 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 the last 34 years and she will not go back because that is her the convent is where she she chose to be uh, be at and uh, and in terms of uh, the the medicine she was denied she was denied the money for her, uh, for medicines she's uh, she she she's she has got diabetes arthritis and and lot of other illnesses and when she she had to depend on the on, on the people outside the the convent to get some money and buy these medicines just not not just the medicines even yes. the basic the yes. essentials like oil and toothpaste she had to depend on on out, outsiders to 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 buy those basic stuff because she was yes. denied all those things all right now, Shiba, unfortunately now, uh, i have to cut the, you off because the, we've the, run the we've run out of time you, uh, uh, the relief the Yes. Uh, so, like Shiba was telling us, uh, the uh, the nun in question needs medication for diabetes and for arthritis, among other things. And uh, these are, of course, ailments that require regular daily medication. She isn't being uh, reimbursed or being helped financially by the convent that she's living in because she's being targeted for supporting the nun who has accused Franco Mulakal of rape. This behavior of the convent and, by extension, of the church. of the catholic church is completely unacceptable nuns who join the convent leave their families behind they take vows of chastity and poverty and obedience and when they do so they are then in the care and the custody of the church it is not okay for the church to deny this nun the medication that she needs i make a clear appeal to the heads of the catholic church in india this is not okay the women of the church rely on you for support this is the moment that you stand up for these women your silence is complicit and it is no longer acceptable we will continue to bring you stories of what is happening in this case because it's not about one bad apple it is about the manner in which the larger organization and institution of the indian catholic church is dealing with this case that is shocking and very telling thanks for watching